Caroline Hammond and my main responsibility in the sixth form is supporting students with their post-18 options and finding out about the different careers and opportunities that will be avail available to them after leaving the sixth form. All students receive regular step sessions that will focus on different careers that might be available to them, the different post-18 opportunities available after the sixth form, and looking at how they develop their skills um, for their future. Um, as well as this, at key times of year, they'll have more in-depth events. Um, these might be an hour or a whole day, kind of we have the post-18 conference, which is a full day, um, where we'll invite in guest speakers uh, and they'll get an opportunity to talk to people from industry, from different universities and other local training providers about the different opportunities available to them. And this will really help inform their choices for the future. Alongside this, we have visits um, to local universities and to um, perhaps more specialist or um, competitive universities further afield. Um, we're aiming to visit an apprenticeship fair this year, although a lot of these opportunities are still online. Um, and visits out to the workplace where appropriate so that students can get an experience of um, and actually what it's like to be in that kind of working setting. The most important of these is potentially the work experience week that happens in February. This is where all students have an opportunity to arrange their own work experience. Um, that's really important for their skills that they do arrange it themselves because it gives them that skill of approaching employers, kind of negotiating what they're going to be doing um, and then actually kind of making sure that they, they go and they go each day. Um, and as part of that, we also do a reflection on what they've learned and help them kind of record that information for their CV in the future. Um, we launch that normally um, after the half term and we'll give lots of students and have, um, we'll give the students lots of support in how to actually find a placement um, and write to the employer or contact them as well. Um, in addition to that, we publicise lots of other um, opportunities throughout the year. This is done via Teams um, and we send out emails and we'll catch students in the corridor if we know they're interested in different things. Um, and there's lots of enrichment opportunities, which I'll talk about in, the, uh, in a moment, to really kind of develop students' further interest. Students that are aiming for particularly competitive courses in the future, um, so that might include things like medicine, dentistry, veterinary sciences, or universities like Oxford and Cambridge, will also receive additional support to make sure they're prepared for those more competitive applications. Throughout year 12 there is, and year 13, there's drop-in advice as, they need, um, as needed. They can find me on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday in the sixth form area, and I'm also available by email. But from term two of year 12, every student will also receive a 45 minute careers guidance interview, um, which will really help them get in depth about the different things that they want to do and explore their motivations for wanting to do them um, and providing lots of information about how they can make sure that they're prepared for those applications. Students also have access to Unifrog, which is a universal careers um, platform, which they can use throughout the year to do research into their different options, um, as well as lots of other kind of information on um, issues relating to PHSC um, and kind of other um, difficulties that they might face in the sixth form. There's lots of help and advice and support on Unifrog. Um, and then into year 13, we use this to help students write a CV and a personal statement and to help manage their applications. Um, parents can also access Unifrog, although they don't get to see their students, um, their students' account. You can access it as a parent just to use the information that's on there and use that information to support your students. So if you're interested in this, please do drop me an email um, and I can set you up with the details to set up an account on, on um, Unifrog as a parent. Of the careers teams, that's Mrs Moss and Mrs Spore. So although I primarily support the sixth form and they primarily support the lower school, um, what it does mean is that there is a member of the careers team in every day. Um, so even on the days when I'm not in, there's still a member of the careers team if students want to access drop-in advice. Um, and Mrs Moss also oversees our um, sixth form internship, so she's also available to advise students on some of their post-18 options as well responsibility for enrichment in the sixth form and this is quite closely linked to careers um, although some students will opt, opt to do enrichment courses just because they find them fun and interesting and um, the skills that are developed through these courses are often what really kind of make students stand out um, on their job applications in the future so we really do encourage students to get involved and develop their skills in the different ways offered through our enrichment courses 
Um, so these are some of the skills that students can develop. And as I mentioned before, we really do put a focus on students reflecting on these skills and starting to record them. So it's not just about them doing the experience. It's about them then going on Unifrog, um, writing about what they've done and really reflecting and getting the most out of that experience. So they can demonstrate to employers in the future that this is something that they are, they have strength in. We talk to students about the different types of enrichment opportunity. So extracurricular opportunities are things that extend and broaden student skills um, and give them an opportunity to try something new beyond the curriculum, whereas supercurricular um, opportunities will really kind of deepen their subject knowledge and their passion and demonstrate their passion for a particular subject. So these opportunities are particularly important for students looking at competitive courses in the future um, because they'll need to demonstrate that commitment and passion and subject knowledge when they're writing their personal statement for university. University. So we have a variety of different things on offer and hopefully something to suit everybody. We have more formal qualifications, so things like the extended project qualification is a formal qualification that carries UCAS points that students do um, throughout year 12 and into the first term of year 13. That's basically a large scale um, research project. They'll go away and do their own research and produce a, a report or an artifact as a result of this. So you can think of it a little bit like a mini dissertation. Uh, and again, it's really valued by universities as it shows those kind of in-depth um, research skills, the ability to commit to work under your own pressure um, and, and is a fantastic opportunity for students to study something either in more depth or actually beyond the curriculum. It's something that often students do if there's perhaps a subject that they weren't able to take but still feel quite passionate about. Um, the Sports Leaders Award is primarily open to our PE and sports students, although there are often a few additional places available, and develops coaching skills through working with younger students. The Duke of Edinburgh Award um, is offered, there's a limited number of places currently for our sixth form students, um, but we can also put students in touch with other local providers. Um, and again, is a project that can last around a year, um, focused around um, an expedition, but also developing a physical skill, um, volunteering um, and developing a, a skill in another area as well. Um, in addition to these kind of longer term commitments, we have short courses throughout the year. So that includes uh, life skills like first aid, it includes things like British Sign Language. Um, both of those courses do have an additional charge and students might like to look to see whether they're eligible for the 16 to 19 bursary to help with that. Uh, and things like MOOCs. These are online courses that are free and um, that students can do whenever they like on a whole variety of different areas. So it might be something related to their future university interests, but it could also be in something like basic first aid. Um, we have lots of opportunities to get involved in the lower school community and to volunteer um, and this is great for our students wanting to develop their leadership, for those that are thinking about perhaps um, teaching in the future or working with people in the future uh, and these include opportunities on a one-to-one -one basis, in class, uh, throughout the year or at special events. So again hopefully something there that suits everybody. Um, several sixth form um, councils which is a great opportunity to get involved again in the wider school community um, but perhaps not necessarily working with younger students so much. Um, these include the main sixth form council um, which includes our head students um, who work with Miss Surtees um, to feedback on things like facilities through the school, any issues that might be with curriculum areas and really just make um, our sixth form the best place and, and the place that students want it to be. Um, we have a LGBTQ plus society, they were founded last year and you know, despite the pandemic managed to do a great deal in their first year uh, and they're focused on making sure that our sixth form is an inclusive um, environment for all and reflecting the diversity of our students. We have a charity society where students can set up events um, to fundraise for local causes uh, and a brand new society for Amnesty International for students that really want to again get involved in, in um, supporting local causes, in kind of speaking out about the things that are important to them um, and thinking about things like lobbying parliament and how we get you know affect real change within our society. So all great opportunities um, for students to kind of take a lead and, and speak out on issues that are important to them. 
In addition to this, there's many of the opportunities that students will have seen throughout the lower school, so things like sports teams and music groups. There's work experience week, as I mentioned before, and all those visits to universities. Um, we also work in partnership with a lot of our local universities um, for students to do things like regular mentoring um, or to um, to do some things like supportive progression schemes where they can get involved in kind of experiencing what university life will be like. Um, and towards the end of the year, we'll have uh, our enrichment meet back, hopefully. Um, it was sorely missed last year. Um, well, there'll be lots of opportunities to do different trips, not just in things that are kind of related to the student's education, but that will kind of progress their interests um, and reward them for all their hard work throughout the year as well. The main thing that we want students to kind of take away is that they need to be proactive. Um, so these opportunities it will exist throughout the year, um, but it's very much the, the situation where sixth form students need to come forward and actually say, I want to do that opportunity. Um, we will, when we know students are interested, we'll track them down and kind of say, oh, hey, would you like to do this? But actually it's up to them to come to us and say, these are the things that I would like to do. This is what I would like to make of my time here. So they need to make sure they're checking their emails regularly and checking teams regularly. There's a dedicated channel there for post 18 options and a more general channel for sixth form notices. They should also be checking the notices around school and making sure that they attend STEP regularly so that they can hear the notices from their tutors. We don't want them to miss out, so we do make sure we put things in several places, but as I said, it is up to them to then follow that up. We also like to hear suggestions from the students. So if there's things that we're not currently doing, we'd love it if they came to us and said, I would really like to do this opportunity or, or start this club, um, is that something that we could look at? And some of the clubs that we have now have come about because students have come up to us and suggested them. And if they offer to run it with a group of friends, that's even better. And obviously all of this will really show that they have got commitment, that they're able to communicate effectively, that they can engage. And again, those are all really important skills from their future. Um, we do understand that kind of sometimes the, the workload pressure of sixth form can kind of change throughout the year and we, we respect that. But what we would say is if students take up an enrichment opportunity that they later decide isn't for them or that they're not coping well with, that they come to us and, and talk about that, that they communicate with us. Um, we prefer it if they kind of said, you know, I just think I'm too busy and we can either look at ways to, to support them better so they can keep doing those opportunities or help them drop the opportunity that they've taken up um, but so that all the staff members know that that is what they're doing and they're not being chased. As I mentioned before, recording what they've done is really important. So although we do want them to do these things just because they're fun, um, it's nice if they can have a record for future employers. As I mentioned before, um, if you do have any questions, then please do feel free to get in touch with me um, and students will be allocated their enrichment opportunities soon. So hopefully they can come home and have a discussion about the different things that they are doing in school. Um, many thanks.